This is the fire fire cable paracord bracelet. Travel Life often gives away stuff with the claim that all you have to do is pay for shipping. I ordered this bracelet for four dollars and ninety five cents. It fit me somewhat well. I found it to be approximately 10 inches and a quarter in length. Mine came in the shark jaw braid design. The buckle comes with a striker and ferro rod built into the buckle alongside a whistle. Here we can see where the ends are melted together. The throw rod is built into the center prong of the buckle. The striker comes out of the buckle sort of like a key. It just pulls right on out, as you can see. It's pretty small. I filled with it for quite a while trying to get the hang of it, and never quite did. It was just too awkward and difficult to use. It wouldn't light natural tinder very easily, so I used steel wool. The slightest little spark catches the steel wool. The steel wool is a great tinder, and it burns really hot. But I still found it very difficult to use. I actually prefer using my saw blade off of my multi-tool. I get better sparks. This is where it got really bad. I decided to take a peek inside the paracord to see what we were looking at here. And what it is, is it's that cheap Chinese paracord. It doesn't have seven inner strands. It's just that frayed, gnarly looking poly inner core. It's really not good for anything if you try to take it apart. You can see here how it's not even woven, it's not twisted, it's just almost basically just crammed in there. For the paracord bracelet, you get what you pay for. You pay four dollars and ninety five cents and you get four dollars and ninety five cents worth of stuff. Actually, you get a little bit more, it's a little bit better, but I would not recommend it as a life saving tool. It's just, it's not that good. You get what you pay for.